Autumn Bear here talking about some great topics. Today's topic is insomnia. So we're really looking at the inability to fall asleep and the inability to stay asleep. On the Chinese medical clock, each organ has its own time clock for a two hour period of time. So if you find yourself waking up at a particular time, a lot of times I get patients who wake up anywhere between one and three or three and five in the morning. So the one and three hour is the liver and the three to five hour is the lungs. So a lot of times if you have that, you know, you wake up at the same time every single night, or let's say you have the inability to get to bed past, you know, like you just can't fall asleep until three o'clock in the morning, then there might be something going, and going on energetically with either the liver or the lungs. So those are one aspect of, of things we want to explore. Um, our emotional well-being and how we feel um, within our emotions actually has a really big effect on our ability to sleep. Um, the emotions are stored in the blood and typically speaking at night when we go to bed the blood goes internal it washes over our organs and helps to nourish and heal those organs so that when you wake up the next morning you're able to fight the viruses and various inundations of our environment um, and if you're if you have a lot of emotional uprest or um, you know spiritual aspects that are going on that are that are causing you to feel unsettled then in a lot of ways that can actually inhibit your blood from going inward it kind of keeps it continuously active and it doesn't allow you to go and get full rest um, and then there's also various different aspects of you know when we have things running through our mind the mind is ruled by the spleen and typically speaking if we have an overactive mind if we have you know let's say something going on like um, you know you're just constantly thinking you just can't stop thinking that hamster wheel effect in many cases there might be something going on with the spleen in which case there's there's some diet things but specifically teas and or rituals that I recommend for sleep so when we're looking at insomnia um, if we're looking at some component of the liver you really want to avoid any sort of stimulants both during the day as well as in the evening to try to allow that liver to kind of calm and soothe I highly recommend some sort of a bath at night if you really have a, an inability to allow yourself to relax um, putting oils in your baths, things like lavender, or even drinking lavender tea with a little bit of chamomile, um, or even some catnip, will allow for the body to relax, allow the liver to relax, and allow you to go into a more restful sleep. If you really wanna affect your dreams and you wanna to start to uh, look at your emotional component through your subconscious mind and you wanna see it through your dreams, uh, you can drink sage tea. Sage really brings a lot of dreams forward, allows things that have been suppressed to come up through your subconscious and be dealt with through your dreams. So go for some sage tea. And if it's really your lungs that you're that is, is keeping you from staying asleep, then I highly recommend um, either having some sort of an infusion of pine, you know, doing some sort of uh, essential oils of pine, uh, and or potentially um, having a nice little snack at the end of your dinner that has to do with some sort of cooked pears and cinnamon to really nourish those lungs. Um, and if it's the spleen that you're really worried about, really try to reduce things that are high in sugars and give that spleen a little bit of a rest and maybe instead of reading or watching television, try to give the mind a little bit of a break and do something like nice sweet meditation and uh, hopefully this will help you ease into sleep and uh, restfully for the rest of your sleepful days.